profit and loss so already in the school level we learn these formulas so along with this basic formulas right actually the meaning of the profit that is selling price should be more that means profit is equal to selling price minus cost price there's a profit and loss is equals to cost price minus selling price these are the basic formulas and along with this these are already studied uh, profit percentage is profit by cost price into 100 and loss percentage is loss by cost price into 100 then based on that these are the straight formulas that is cost price is equal to 100 by 100 plus profit percentage into SP when they are giving CP, SP and profit relation we can use this formula if his loss is minus then selling price is equal to 100 plus profit percentage by 100 into CP if his loss minus so already these are the basic formulas you studied so along with this some shortcut tricks I'll explain first we'll start with two easy questions which you already studied in the uh, school level topics right then we'll go for the, the short trick uh, short formulas or short tricks in this the question is Katrina buys a toy for 200 and sell it for 160 this is the cost price selling price find a loss percentage so loss percentage is first loss loss is equals to generally the profit must means selling price must be more so loss is cost price is the more so cost price minus selling price that is 200 minus 160 so 40 rupees is the loss then they are asking loss percentage so loss percentage formula so percentage of loss that is equals to loss by cost price into 100 right so 40 by cost price is 200 into 100 so 100 times 2 40 by 2 is 20 so 20 percent is the loss the only first two sums just to basic things then go for the short technical questions even let us see second one virat sells a pair of cricket gloves to dhoni at 20 percent profit and dhoni sells it to the rohit 30 percent profit if rohit had paid 780 then find the original cost of the virat so in algebraic method we have to take let x and we have to do one by one no? So instead of that all, so find the original cost. Original cost you have to find out. Then Rohit had to pay 780. The direct method is we'll take 780 rupees. Then original cost price. Actually, cost price you have to find out. But when you come to this cost price fry, cost price formula, if it is profit, 100 by 100 plus profit percentage is coming. 100 by 100 plus profit percentage into selling price. So we supposed to find out so 100 by 100 plus p you remember this now according to this 100 by first case 30 percent is the profit to get him so 100 plus 30 again multiply 100 by again pre, uh, preceding profit is again 20 percent so 100 plus 20 just you can calculate that is the original cost price you get so simple method 780 into 100 by 130 times 100 by 120 that calculation you can apply get the original price so I can cancel this right 0 0 this cancel again 780 into 100 so 780 into 100 is 780 again 0 0 13 into 12 so we can normal cal uh, cancelling method you can apply this if you cancel it's 50 and 6 again 3 25 okay 3 table you can cancel 3 2 is a 6 again 6 is 18 0 13 times 20 so 20 into 25 is rupees 500 finally is the original cost price this is the technique you can apply let us see other short trick questions like this when you uh, when you're getting these type of questions the direct method will explain Trump sold an article at profit of 14%. This is the straight line. So sold an article at profit of 14%. But condition is had he sold an article at profit of 28%, he would have earned 56 rupees more. In case if he sold with profit of 28%, it get extra amount. That is 56 more. Find the cost price of the article. This type. 
by giving original statement in case by giving extra profit extra amount this type to find out the direct cost price formula I can use this technique more profit into 100 because end of the original formula is more profit into 100 that means 100 into the more profit by difference in profit percentage difference in profit percentage so original profit and increased profit now that was so here is the more profit they will get 56 more into 100 by difference in the profit with 14 percent and 28 percent so 28 minus 14 just to subtract this 5600 by 28 minus 14 so 14 it is 14 times 4 so 400 simple so cost price of the article is 400 so this is the formula you can apply instead of taking let cost price x and increasing that using formulas this is the method the short technique and see this one more question fourth one this also will give you easy technique a man buys 10 lemons for a certain amount for a certain amount t purchased he want to sell them at a profit but he does not want to increase the price so he sells 8 lemons at the price and keeps the balance of 2 lemons in his profit find his profit percentage in the transaction in this case cost price of 10 lemons cost price of 10 lemons is exactly equals to selling price of 8 lemons because he's keeping 2 as his profit so 8 only selling the cost price of 10 lemons is equal to selling price of 8 lemons so the direct formula I'll give you whenever the in this case so in giving back selling price and cost price of the different numbers then if cost price of A articles cost price of A articles is exactly equals to selling price of B articles articles are same then profit percentage percentage of profit is equals to A minus B by B into 100 because selling price uh, articles only down okay, A minus B by B into 100 this you can apply directly this problem 10 minus 8 by 8 into 100 or simple right so 2 by 8 into 100 200 by 8 that is 25 percentage the profit is 25 percentage so I'm not explaining the how the formula just only the short trick you can remember to apply in this whenever selling price and cost price of the different lemons different articles are same you can use this and one more sum mostly you'll get these type of questions and you'll see different one out of a consignment 75 percent goods were sold at profit of eight percent and these are two categories 75 percent of goods were sold at profit of eight percent and the balance 25 percent was sold at an unexpected loss of four percent the overall profit is 200 then find the value of the consignment so the consignment value in case the particular some part of the articles with some profit and remaining with profit loss then you can use this method so there are some consignment value this is equals to the direct formula is total profit overall profit is given so total profit into 100 same in third problem we did no formula same method you apply total profit in 200 divided by part A and part B two cases here so part A into percentage of profit minus part B into percentage of loss so in this two parts so part A into percentage of profit minus second part into percentage of loss okay so if you can apply this now total profit is 200 overall is 200 profit into 100 by part A that is 75 percent goods were sold at profit of 8 percent so 75 into 8 minus balance 
25 percent 25 into 4 this is the consignment value you can just simplify and get the answer so 220,000 divided by 75 into 8 so 8 percentage part A 75 and 25 no? so 8 percent and this 4 percent simplify this 75 into 8 by 100 minus 25 into 4 by 100 you can simplify that is the answer so you can cancel this 25 3 is a 25 4 4 ones are 4 2 finally 20,000 by 6 minus 25 1 4 4 4 cancel 1 by 5 20,000 20, divided by 5 it is 4,000 that is the consignment value so this is the formula you can apply mostly profit and loss the basic formulas are this and additional uh, 3 4 tricks I just explained these you can expect in exams